Hi, my name is Jeffrey Schneider. I am an enrolled agent and a certified tax resolution specialist. I'm here to talk about liens and levies. Now, a lot of you know what a lien is, and that is an encumbrance on your assets, meaning the IRS, a claim, a mortgage is like a lien. You also may know what a levy is. A levy is like a wage garnishment, or where the IRS will take your assets, take part of your pay if you owe them money. Or any agency will have a levy on your accounts if you owe them money. Well, the IRS usually puts a lien on your Social Security number if you owe over $10,000. You don't know about it, and that's called a silent lien. A levy is usually sent with a form to the person that owns the property in which they want a levy. Normally your employer, the bank, your pension account, and they have to jump through hoops to get it, but they can, and then that particular person who owns that asset has to turn it over to the IRS. You are also notified on that. But what happens about liens that you don't know about? Well, it just sits on your account until you try to sell something and it's on your, on your credit report. Now you may be saying, well, I owe over $10,000. What happens if I ignore it? Well, the IRS, if they send you notices and you ignore them, it, they don't go away. They can then send you what's called a federal tax lien, which means you do get notified. It usually comes by uh, certified return receipt, and then you have to deal with it. You should deal with it anyway. But now you may go to yourself, what happens if I owe this money? I have ignored notices that I came during the summer and I haven't received anything. The IRS hasn't contacted me, so that means they may have gone away. Well, you lived in the state of Florida and in some areas of Texas. The IRS didn't go away. But under the hurricanes that happened in this past fall, especially in Florida with Hurricane Irma, the IRS stopped all collection activity, all audit activity. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means basically what it says. They stopped. No notices, no liens, no levies, no audits started. Now, if you're in the middle of a collection case, you've admitted over an audit, they will continue, but they won't really contact you. You'll have to deal with it on your own. That is until January 29th. Now, what is that date? Well, January 29th is the last day the IRS will stop under this hurricane program. February 1st, they will start in earnest going after collections. They will start sending out notices. They will start auditing people. So, and they will make up for lost time. So, my suggestion is you get yourself ready, seek out professional help, do not do this on your own, and until next time, see ya.